close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And I will go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Marie and if you're new here, Karim Kusana, thank you so much for stopping by. Okay guys, so as the thumbnail suggests, we're going on a trip, we're going to Kisumu and we're going back to my old school, to my high school to pick my certificate. I thought that it would be nice to bring you guys along with us. Now I feel like this is gonna be a long video and some of you complain that I talk too much which I really can't help because that's just who I am I love talking but I can try and accommodate some people if not everyone so I'm gonna be short on talking on this one uh, our trip is starting from here behind me <laughs> before I leave the house every day I make sure that I mean, before I leave the house for a long journey, kind of, because we're going to be gone for three days, I always make sure to leave everything clean because I don't like coming back to a cluttered and dirty and stinky house. So that's why I'm here. I need to wash this this set. Oh, guys, I know I look like I'm naked, but I'm not. I'm wearing shorts inside. This is base cloth. Ah, uh, yeah. So I have this cookware set that they bought me yesterday. I need to wash them and keep them away. And I have this dirty dishes and oh, he got me this really cute set of cooking sticks and pots. I love it. Uh, we all got it in red because like we could only find this set in red. Uh, red is not my favorite color, guys. But now that we brought it here into the kitchen, it really pops. So I think I might just like them. But I love them. They're all silicone. They're nice. Yeah, so I want to clean this up. Bear is still asleep. He'll be awake in a minute. But I want to clean this up so we can, you know, get ready. I don't think we're going to cook anything after this or breakfast or something. I just, we're not going to cook at all. But I want to clean this up and then tidy up the house a little bit so that when we get back home, it's not all messy and stressful. All right? Okay, so let's clean this up and then, you know, get ready. <laughs>
Hey guys, good morning. We are just pulling out of our driveway at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving to Kasumu. It's a very long drive. Oh. Take two. <laughs> So someone's not so happy. Oh, it's not Good not morning, happy. guys. Just took us. Why did it take us three hours to get up and go leave the house? Because you kept snoozing. It's not true. I was sitting at the door waiting for an hour. Baby, you were you snoozing. We want to leave at six. It's, it's six o'clock Kenyan time, guys. Eight o'clock. Six o'clock Kenyan time. And I wanted to get across the city. Before <laughs> there traffic. will be no traffic. I and I have breakfast to the other side of Nairobi. Around eight. There's not traffic, guys. Of course there is. How do you know? It's Monday morning, Nairobi. It's going to be absolutely hectic. But what if it's not? Keep a positive mindset. I oh, will see. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Can't wait to go on the Dika Highway. What? But Just positive. like think, yeah. what if for a moment things work out? <laughs> It's gonna be fine, it's just, just, that's, it's gonna have three hours to our day, so. Guys, let me tell you what happened. I... At the end of the day. Not we today. Won't, we will get to Kazuma. <laughs> we will get to Kazuma. at 6, we'll probably get there at 9 p.m. That, guys, let me tell you what happened. Bay set the alarm for 5 o'clock. The phone was on his side of the bed. And he kept snoozing. That's true. Look. Babe, that's true though. I could have been, I was ready in like 20 minutes. Me snoozing, the lamb wasn't for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> the lamb wasn't for me. <laughs> then you go and you start doing the dishes and I was like, I'll do them. Oh no, I was like, I'm gonna be sitting around for an hour waiting for you anyway. Maybe you me didn't tell dishes. me you were gonna you know, do the dishes. I always do them when we're leaving in the morning. Well, I thank do. you, I love I you for that. I just wanted to make a difference today. Yeah, I know, but then, you were in the toilet for 45 minutes. I have a bad stomach. Yeah, so that's a big part of it. So the alarm really didn't make so any difference. You're cutting me some grass? A little bit. Hmm. Guys, I have a bad stomach and it's because someone convinced me to eat dairy at 10 o'clock. Because Colstone has this great milkshake. And I said specifically, I do not want something cold. True, it's the dairy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I was my, my idea, yeah. It's the dairy. It's either the dairy or the or the um, salad I ate at Java. I doubt it's the salad. But let's hope that I won't have to take ten stops because then if he is mad at me right now like this, uh, I don't mind if we that. have to stop ten times along the road. It's just the time was to leave at certain time, it's three hours after that time, so well, not three hours, it's two hours. I'm exaggerating. It's two hours. We're supposed to leave at six. It's now eight. You know so, me? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, too much to back out at this stage. You love me? Yeah, I love you. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, and no, I mean it's okay. it. It's okay, and I, I know I'm a person. Okay, guys, so we're going to grab something to eat. Hopefully, something that doesn't give me the shits again. Um. <laughs> And we have to stop 10 times along the way. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because last time we were going to Kisumu, Eamon was sick. Oh yeah. And, <laughs> and now this time it's me. <sighs> okay. Did you carry your antimalarial tablets babe? Yeah. Oh, good. Alright guys, we'll see you when we get to Art Cafe. I know exactly where we're going to eat. Well, I don't know exactly, but like... It's definitely going to be at cafe. Right there. Sure.
breakfast, it turns out someone was just hungry. Uh, <laughs> that's what it was. I probably should have made him breakfast before we left. He wouldn't be angry at me. No, I wasn't angry. How do you know? I wasn't angry. What did you eat then? Uh, well, because it's breakfast time. It wasn't. I was the one who was yeah, hungry. But Babe, you don't you don't take breakfast. Not most. Not mostly anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're just passing to rivers. We're gonna be late, but we're not in a hurry. We thought we were way out of the city. We're only 30 minutes out of the city. Or maybe 20. Yeah, so we'll see you guys um, when we do. Probably for lunch, right? Are we going to stop for lunch? Uh, yeah, we we'll stop for lunch. Yeah. We're supposed to stop a couple of times. We're not, like, not. In a rush? Uh, no, we've got time. This is, that's why I want to get us out the, out the door. Take our time. See this. <laughs> just easier if you leave a few hours earlier. Yeah, it these, is. That's true. Stops. That is true. But yeah, we're just getting out of the city, and I'm wondering how it makes such a huge difference. Actually, no, we were just around two rivers, guys, and you know that's around Runda, where all the rich, old money people live. Okay, not all, but most. And it's just like a different. It's a different environment and then a few meters like what 500 meters from there there's all these buildings and it looks like you're back in the city again <laughs> all that land and this um, congestion here it's kind of weird it's interesting what money can do Guys, we are barely out of the city and look at how this this massive difference looks like. It's so nice. It's, it's really nice. It's really refreshing. Sheeps. Sheeps. I even can see his sheep. There's goats. There's goats on this side. And there's goats over there. Goats, goats. They're nice. I don't know his obsession with like four-legged things. Anything that has four legs and has a heart. He loves. Yeah? yeah Very right, true. babe? Yeah, yeah. What is your obsession with them? I like goats. Goats are cute. They're fun. You like goats and you like sheep and you like dogs and you like. Oh, the only thing you don't like is cats. That's oh, because know, you're allergic. No, 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 no. I never said I don't like cats. People keep. There's, there's a difference between having a, a strong allergic reaction to something and disliking it. You cats are fine. Some cats are nice, uh, some cats are not so nice. Uh, As a generalization, the species, I like it. You like cats? I've had, we've had cats, I've had cats, I've had family cats before, and I've, you know, uh, I've lived with cats. I just needed a bit of... Uh, getting my, used to them. Yeah, a bit of getting used to them. Like, takes a few antihistamines for like a couple of weeks, mm. and I get used to that cat, and I'm okay with that cat. Okay. If I come into your house and you have a cat, I'm probably going to get all itchy and start sneezing. But I can live with cats, so yeah, they're good. Yeah, okay, baby. So you like cats? Cats are alright. Some cats, some what, cats are nice. What happened to the feral cats that lived in your shed? Uh, that you were no, supposed to adopt? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm not talking about that. What? Why? What ha I just want to know, babe. Well, it's pretty hard to tame feral cats, you know? <laughs> they were stray ferals and, you know, I fed them, I was feeding them for a while. And yeah. then this black and white, nice black and white cat. Look at that, look at that cow, babe. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a, what do you call the black and white ones? The, are they Frisian? Yeah, Frisian. And you're generally for milk. milk. yeah. Generally for milk, those ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was feeding them, and then I thought, I went out, and they were kind of hiding in these boxes every time I went out to get them, give them food. Yeah. And then one kind of came out and sort of stood there and looked at me while I was sitting on a box. Mm. So I thought, this is my moment. I'll grab them. And they were. <laughs> and I thought, I'll, and it was too early. I'd moved too soon. And so I grabbed this cat, just like, oh, hey. And I didn't give him a rub. Nah. 
didn't want anything to do with me and just like started scratching me so as soon as I started scratching and biting I sort of like I pinned it mm -hmm. and I was like oh and it was a bit like a Mexican standoff because now I was like well this isn't very nice and I'm sort of holding the cat uh -huh. and I was like oh this kitten what am I gonna do with it uh -huh. and I thought I started rubbing its head you know like while I had it pinned mm -hmm. it was not happy it was all tense mm -hmm. I'd scratched and bit me and everything uh, and um, and then I was like oh better just oh, I'm free, I'll just let it go and did, did let go scar but I never seen any of those cats ever again <laughs> they left after that that was too much babe yeah, babe yeah. Not, not every animal is to be pets yeah I know but the black and white cat has been back that kind of that the big one my, yeah the, the, the mother of those cats has been back yeah. just the kittens are gone maybe the kids found um, a home that's what they do I think I think the mother cats bring them somewhere mm. and they go and someone goes, oh, it's a kid, and then they get taken in, and as soon as, you know, don't think they hold on to them for too long. Yeah, guys, let me tell you really, really what happened with those cats. What happened is, I told Bay, day one, he told me, these cats are living in, this cat is living in my shed, and I told him, you're going to adopt that cat, and he said, no, I'm just giving them a place to live and I said okay the next day he goes out and buys food for the cat what happened I didn't buy food you did buy did, the cat food I didn't buy the cat food what did you do one how, my, how are you my, feeding them one of my work colleagues uh, had cat food that his cats wouldn't eat his cats are very precious uh, and so he's like do you want the cat food and I was like yeah so he gave me the cat food shout out to Ross thanks Ross but it used it for a bit. But guys, he, okay, even if that's the, oh, I did buy, you right, I did buy. You buy, I remember because you told me it was five dollars. Right. You spent five dollars yeah. on the cat food. Which was really cheap. I thought that's, that's cheap. Yeah, that's cheap. But you yeah. thought about that. We still thought that. Counts. I did buy the cat food. Yeah, I did. That's right. You bought the before cat food I the, before I got the free cat food off Ross. So you bought the cat food and you even shared about the cats to your colleague. You were thinking about them outside of home but you had not adopted them well that's what happens with cats but they're living in your shed cats just you don't yeah you don't really adopt a stray cat they come in and they just move in so i kind of thought well maybe those cats are mine now maybe they're here yeah but that's what i said back then and you're like no they're not my cats and then you put out water for them every day before yeah, you go to work really hot. <laughs> And then you, when you come back home, the first thing you go, you do is to go check if they ate the food or drank the water. Yeah. But they're not your cats. No, they weren't my cats. No, they weren't. C can you hear yourself? Yeah. yeah. But they weren't my cats though. They're just living in the shed. But you went and tried to pet one of them. I did try to pet one. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like and it. And he chased them didn't away. Like like and he was sad. Maybe he was sad for two days. I did Yeah, I didn't like that the cat got a bad run there with me. I thought it was like, oh, he's real close. Maybe he wants me to pick him up or whatever. <laughs> you went in too soon. The cat was very unhappy. The cat was just warming up to you. Because yeah. They were not running anymore when you go close to them. They used to run and hide. That's it, exactly. That's a, I moved. I probably moved too soon. two months too early. And, and this yeah. cat was like, oh, he's getting a little bit clingy. Well, I thought maybe I was a cat whisperer, you know? <laughs> you don't know until you try. <laughs> I thought maybe I was a cat whisperer. And he just be like, Meow, and just like, Meow. babe, you're allergic to cats. You can never be a cat whisperer. See, that's the thing. That's that's the irony of it. <laughs> that's that's the that's the unique irony of, of um, the fact that it's like, yeah, he's allergic to all the cats, but he's a cat whisperer. You know. <laughs> I think I think you watch too many movies. There's no plot twist to this one. The cats just did, you were too clingy for them. They said, now, nah, bye bye, see you later. Who's this loser? <laughs> He's not giving us food for nothing. I know. I know. Sorry, babe. It's okay. Well, we would adopt, we would adopt a cat, only that Luna does not like cats at all. Me too. I don't hate cats. I'm just not a cat person. They say you're either a dog or a cat person. Yeah. I'm a dog person. Some of you, some people can be both, but generally... You can, but you'll, you'll have a preference, even when you're both. 
I don't hate cats. We grew up with 11 cats. And don't ask me how. Just my father had 11 cats. We had to accommodate all 11 of them. Oh guys, we're going through the tea plantation and if I tell you guys this is so beautiful. I feel like I haven't been on this road. Babe, are you sure we're going the right way? I, I did say you need to check the map. This, did that, was you? Just, that was just to get us out of the city. Yeah, as soon as we're out of the city, you need to check the route. But it says we're going to Maima Hill, so that's true. But I don't think we've ever followed this road. It's very it's hilly. Like it's very hilly. Kamandura to Maima Hill. My Mahu is a good stopper. It's like, yeah, we are on the right track. I just don't think we've ever taken this road. And there are no buses on this road, which only, you know, validates my point that I don't think I've ever taken this road. No. <laughs> but it's a nice one. It's beautiful. You know? It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's a scenic route. It's probably longer. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Let me show you guys how beautiful. Can you guys see all those greenhouses? Oh, you can't. Oh, no. Yeah, no. So, well, that's gone. What about your telephone or that? I don't know. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on guys so we got to Nakuru welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome and welcome back to the channel so you actually do pay attention to what I say wow babe that's a fast guys so we just pulled up we're pulling out of this really cute spot on the Nakuru highway <laughs> Nakuru Nairobi highway it's the art cafe it's stop pit stop yeah i like it like they have like really cool stuff yeah, and vehicle they, charging and everything yeah i know it's, you know, it's very, very modern it is it's very modern and what i like most about them is they have very clean toilets oh the toilets are exceptional i know for 20 shillings they're like it's really worth it. really worth it. It's worth it and nice clean when i mean when i say clean it's not like those pit stops where the, the whole place just you know, stinks of urine. This, this was like really clean. I love them. Anyway, we are out of, we're getting out of there and resuming our journey. I was feeling so queasy. I was feeling so unwell. We had to buy meds. But I feel better now and we are back to enjoying our journey. They bought me this. They test bitter but I love them it's good not too sugar yeah can, very I, less sugar can I have a piece or you keep it to yourself you bought them for me babe I, I know can I not have a piece though like, it's a little I'll take another one <laughs> where where are they? We're going to Kisumu. It's a well it's a well known brand and they'll sell it in every shop. Which shops? Just what are you gonna feed from my to my mouth like a bird? <laughs> snap, snap me off a piece please. A piece babe. Yeah you can snap me off. I just want one piece, I don't want two thirds of all the other pieces you've been Guys, doing I'm very cautious because every time he says I wanna have a piece of it, it's the entire thing. My hand to it. He has like a, a very small mouth that I like, but it bites a lot of my food almost every time. Want more? That's good. Okay. Alright, guys, we'll see you if we make another pit stop, which we probably would for lunch because we don't have, we didn't have lunch yet. Well, we just had breakfast. Yeah, that was Nairobi. 
Let's just add my best. In a different county, babe. Yeah, I know. In Nairobi. No, we'll get lunch, but not for a while. That well, makes... It's lunch time. We'll make some headway. One hour from now is gonna be lunch time. See you guys then. Bye bye. Hey guys. So. We are at Ahero. We are almost in Kisumu. We are both so exhausted, guys. It's not. It's not as as energetic as last time. Are you exhausted, babe? Tired, yeah. Babe is exhausted, and I'm a little bit sick in the stomach. But we are here, and that's all that matters. Yeah, we are both um, one kilometer away from the city, so. That's great. We're going to stay at the Ciala Resort. We had a reservation there. I've never been there, so that's going to be one nice, uh, hopefully, one nice experience. One new experience, and I hope it will be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks lovely. Yeah, it looks lovely on the yeah. maps. I think we need somewhere nice to stay after this. <laughs> Uh, it, it has been stressful, uh, yeah. but you know what, you guys? I counted a hundred pro books on the road. <laughs> There's so many pro boxes, pro box, pro box, the Toyota uh, brand car. Yeah. There's so many of them on the road, and most of them are like super rude. But there's so many of them, so as a game. I decided to count a hundred of them before we get to Kisumu and I did. There's so many of them. Anyway, um It see. took about an hour. Yeah? It only took about an hour. Or less, yeah. Forty five minutes, yeah. Might have been forty five minutes. Within forty five minutes we came across one hundred pro box cars. It's insane. Whoever is importing them is making a kill. Anyway guys. close anyway guys I'll see you at the resort and hopefully it's you know nice after this long trip hold me close till I get up time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And on and we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on Resort and it's really nice, guys. It's really, it's really nice. The drive here was not so nice, but I think this is gonna be worth it. What do you think? It's really nice. It's really we, quiet. Yeah, yeah. we are all like shocked. A... It's so yeah. quiet. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's true. Anyway, let's it's see. Shock to the system from the 
drive. The drive in Nairobi and everything is such a huge shock. To see the horizon turn us to thousands and we'll grow in number fueled by them to see the horizon turn us to thousands on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways to my shadow through the sun rays and on destination we are, we are at Ciela Resort as I've shown you guys and let me tell you guys this place is definitely worth it it's definitely worth it definitely I like I did not expect to find this in Kisumu at all let me show you let me guys let me give you guys a really quick room tour so that we can get comfortable <laughs> babe why are you hiding what do you think it's really nice yeah was it worth it yeah after Travel. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's so, quiet here. Yeah. it's so quiet. The silence is like super loud. The silence is loud. All right, guys. Let me show you our room real, real quick so we can end this video here. So, uh, do you want to be my video Sure. Mm -hmm. So, guys, this is the end of the entrance. This side is the massive, massive wardrobes. Oh man, they have this. Oh, that's nice. I know. All branded and stuff. Oh, they have bathrobes and an ironing board and an umbrella. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> it's really nice. I love it. The wardrobe is how big I can fit inside. And they have a safe. And they smell nice. Nice. Yeah, and on this side is the bathroom. Separate shower, cubicle, clean shower, clean towels you can see inside. Uh, yeah. Huge enough to fit four people. <laughs> Look at this window. Oh, it's nice. Right? And, and the dresser, dress vanity. This is really, really nice, guys. And they have a hair dryer. <laughs> and the toilet. It's also spacious. I love it. I don't feel cramped. I won't feel cramped. Cramped in. And they see. But there's only one of these, though. They have house slippers and this space for keeping your luggage and they bring your luggage to you. And look at this nice painting. I think this is the coffee station. A little fridge here, all labeled. How do you open this? 
Is it locked? It's not. Little fridge in here. This is nice. Yeah. Full coffee station. What's in here? Nothing. Just a small storage space. What is this? Eight to love. Lola. How do you turn it on? I think from here. Do you, would you know to turn it on this? like a torch or something no it looks on already from here oh there oh yeah <laughs> there's a flower lamp here okay that's a flower lamp so we'll figure out how to turn it on now this is like the day tv area this is a sitting area it's nice we can have a conversation here babe shoot up about us it's a nice area and and the main man of the show the bed it's really nice isn't it more lamps on both sides guys i love it and there's a walking station here we a list of stuff that you might want to do in there. All lamps. Wow. It's really massive. And we have a balcony, guys, looking out to the garden. Look at that. And how do you open this? Yeah. This way, right? No, oh, we have a balcony area, more sitting space. The garden. Hey, what do you think? Awesome. It's really nice. It is, right? Yeah. Guys, I love it. Honestly, love, love, love. And it's so quiet and it's so serene. I'm happy that we got here this early so we can enjoy it. And hopefully, tomorrow we finish our business real early so we can come back and enjoy this. And they have a swimming pool too. I know you don't know that, babe, but they do have a swimming pool. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching this one to the end. Watch out for the next vlog which will start tomorrow because tonight we're just going to enjoy this. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you guys.